Scott Vickers, Able Distributors. Today we're here to talk about Techmar controls. We're gonna go over two parameters of controls. We got snowmelt controls and we have boiler controls. Okay, we're gonna dive right into Techmar controls. Once again, the snowmelt division, which we support at Able Distributors. We have two different types of melting controls. We have the 654 melting control and we have the 671 Wi-Fi melting control. We're going to show you the benefits of each and how it might affect your application. The 654 control will accommodate automatic ice and snow detection. It can be paired with two different sensors, an 090 slab sensor or a 095 aerial sensor. This control also accommodates warm weather shutdown. It also accommodates cold weather cutout and it provides idling and slab protection. In idling mode, this will allow you to operate that boiler even though the, or it may be no snow to, on, the, on the ground, it will allow that boiler to idle and maintain a proper slab temp of your choice. It also accommodates slab protection, which will allow that concrete or whatever, that asphalt to stay at a, a, a tempered level so it doesn't crack or, or provide any further issues to the property. Moving on to the 671 Wi-Fi melting control. This also provides automatic ice and snow detection it has what I think is really cool, an auto storm, which actually uses the Wi-Fi weather data to tell that system to keep operating during a major snowstorm. It accommodates warm weather shutdown, just like the 654, cold weather cutout, just like the 654. But this one also provides multiple zones with priority. So you could have essentially three different zones, two different zones, and you could choose what zone is priority over all the others. It also has the same idling function as the 654, uh, the slab protection, and it accommodates both sensors, the 090 and the 095. Okay, we're gonna dive right into Techmar boiler controls. These four items here can be bought at Able Distributors. We're gonna start with the 519 thermostat. This thermostat in particular will provide control for your radiant floor heating. Um, it accommodates a floor, it accommodates floor and air temperature control, meaning uh, two things here. Actually, three things. Uh, we can have a floor sensor, which will maintain a slab temperature. We can have it just do air temperature, which will maintain a, a ambient room temp. Or we can actually use both and they can talk to each other and uh, provide a, a comfort solution for you. Um, it also accommodates freeze protection to, uh, to make sure that that water temperature um, stays at an adequate level if a uh, piece of radiant tubing is running on the, say, the outside of a house. Um, it'll accommodate that as well to make sure that that return temp maintains a above freezing level. Okay, so now we're going to dive into three different types of boiler controls that are sold at Able Distributors. We're going to start with the 256 Techmar boiler control. This is not a thermostat, this is a control. So what will happen is this control will talk to the boiler and tell it essentially what to do giving the data that you provide it. So this 256 here is a single stage, once again, single stage boiler control. It accommodates an outdoor temperature reset, with, which means will uh, accommodate a water temperature based on your outdoor, outdoor temperature. Um, it also provides an automatic boiler differential, meaning that it'll actually tell that boiler, depending on water temperature, when that boiler needs to turn on and when that boiler needs to turn off, all on its own. It also comes with a warm weather shutdown. Um, and what that warm weather shutdown will do is say the heating season has expired, it's reached whatever setting that you've set that at, it'll actually shut that boiler down. Now, moving further, we're gonna go into the 261 boiler control. The 261 boiler control will accommodate a two-stage, yes, I said two-stage boiler control. Meaning, it can, this control itself can accommodate a boiler that has a high and a low fire, or this can accommodate two different boilers at one time. I'll get into that in a minute. It also accommodates outdoor temperature reset, meaning that just like we discussed in the 256, this will allow that boiler to operate at a water temperature based on the outdoor temperature. It also comes with a warm weather shutdown, just like we described in the 256, and the automatic boiler differential. This control, like I said, meaning two-stage, will exercise boilers. So you have two boilers. What this control will allow you to do is it'll allow you to have equal runtime on both boilers. It'll also 
account for outdoor temperature and indoor temperature, and if there's a demand, it will fire both boilers at one time. It also has a built-in boiler pump output, which should be used in a primary secondary situation where you just want this controller to turn on your primary pumps based on demand. Now we're going to forget about the water side of things and we're going to move down to the 279 steam control. The 279 steam control, which we saw at Able Distributors, is a single stage steam controller. It also accommodates outdoor reset like we discussed in the prior two, warm weather shutdown like we described in the prior two. But this here, being a steam control, can accommodate two indoor sensors. Meaning this, say you have a large house and you, have a, you, you, want, you want to make sure that that furthest radiator or that furthest room is warm, you can have a sensor in the furthest room and a, a sensor somewhere else in the, in the house. These sensors will also compute an average to determine the best set point temperature given the parameters you have set up. What's really cool about this control um, in, in any steam application, it has a condensate return sensor. Meaning what this control is gonna do is on a demand, it's going to make sure that steam hits the furthest point of that, of that loop coming back. It also has a steam established control built into it. What that steam established will, will do is it'll talk to that condensate return sensor and it will tell that control when the steam is at the furthest point of the system.